Hi there, welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, you will learn how to share folders or files from your computer with other computers on the same network. It is very easy to set up on Windows 10. Without further ado, let's get started. In this illustration, I will share the folder from computer A to computer B over the same Wi-Fi network. Let's start with computer A. Open the file explorer. On the left side of this window, click Network. This is where you can find computers or devices being shared across the network. Before you start sharing files, make sure your computer is discoverable and accessible on the network. To change the network settings, click the Network tab. Click on the Network and Sharing Center. Click over here. Go to the left side and choose Change Advanced Sharing Settings. There are three network settings you need to change. The private network is usually the Wi-Fi you use at home or in your company. The public network is usually the Wi-Fi available in public areas such as malls and terminals. And the third one is both private and public networks. Under the private network, you need to turn on network discovery and file and printer sharing. Under the public network, both network discovery and file and printer sharing are usually turned off. Under all networks, your computer has so-called public folders. You better turn it off if you don't want other users on the network to discover the entire contents of your public folder. Choosing this encryption type is somehow recommended. You can also choose to turn on off password protected sharing. If you turn it on, a user account and password are needed to connect to another computer. Keeping it off allows other users on the network to access your files. After you adjust the settings, don't forget to save the changes. Now, I will show you how to see other files being shared on this network. Let us see what computer B is sharing. As you notice, only my computer is being shown. This is an issue commonly reported by other Windows 10 users, and until now it has remained persistent. To solve it, just type the network address by putting two backward slashes followed by the device name and one backward slash, then type the word users and hit enter. Here, you can now see the folders being shared by computer B. You can open any files you want. By the way, let's go back to the network address. If you don't include the word users, this is what might happen. You too might encounter this issue on your network. And if you don't know the device name of the computer you want to connect to, just ask the owner or network administrator. Or you can even do it yourself if you have direct physical access to the computer. This is how you are going to do it. Right click on Windows Start and choose System. This is where you can find the device name. If everything is set, we can now try to share this folder with Computer B. Right-click and choose Give Access To, then select the specific people. Select everyone in the drop-down list and click Add. Choose a permission level to either read or read-write. Then click Share and Done. You can share this link with any user on the network. They will just paste it on the address bar so they have direct access to the file. 
When you open the folder, you can see the shared status at the bottom. Let us now see the shared folder on computer B. This is my partner's laptop. I just blurred the desktop because there are a lot of iconic decorations. Alright, open the file explorer, click network. Since it is not showing computer A, I will proceed to the network address. I am to select a Max folder since that is the username of my computer, where I shared the folder. I chose Desktop since the folder is saved on Desktop. The folder name test is the one I shared. This folder can now be deleted or edited from this computer. Finally, the sharing attempt was successful. That's all for this video. I hope you find this tutorial useful. If you encounter an issue, don't hesitate to share it with me in the comment section. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe and turn on the notification bell to get updated with the next tutorial.